Hello, I'm Dennis with Wildwood TV Lift Furniture. Today we're going to do a setup video for our TV lift bed with the traditional rails and a conventional bed frame. So we'll go ahead and get started. You can see that I've got the uh, I've got the head or the footboard in here and the and the headboard kind of positioned apart from each other and then there's a set of rails also from the installation hardware i found a bag that has four um, 5 8 inch uh, pan head screws and we'll use those i'll show you those in a minute but those will be just for attaching um, the rails or, or securing the rails to the headboard and footboard so i've got my helper here and the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to take one of these rails and you'll notice that the rail has a plate on it that has some collars. Essentially what I'm going to do is just make sure that the rail is up, so the finished side is up. And then I'm just going to take these collared parts off of this plate and slip it into these elliptical holes on the plate from the, from the footboard. And you probably have to work that in just a little bit to get it to, to slip down into um, the bottom of these ellipticals. And now that I've got this side in, my helper will slip the other side in. Okay, now we've got that rail in, and sometimes you kind of have to wiggle the footboard or the headboard around a little bit to get that to seat all the way down in. It's also okay, to, as you kind of start to get it to, with a soft-soled shoe, you can kind of click that down into place, but you want that to seat down in. And like I said, you might have to kind of manipulate the headboard or the footboard a little bit to kind of get it to go in. Now on the second one, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to uh, line these up and my helper will grab that top side. And we'll get the, I'm going to get this, this one in. And, and we're going to have to manipulate that just a little bit to get that to seat. I'm just going to kind of wiggle this head, this footboard, just to make sure that those are seating down in there. Now I'm going to just kind of knock, knock that down. And I'll go do the same thing on the, on the, the headboard. And that one has seated down in. All right, now that they're seated all the way in, now we're going to use some screws to secure them. Okay, now using some of the 5 8 inch screws that I mentioned from the hardware kit, they kind of have a pan head on them, I'm going to use that hole that has a hole that's now lined up between the two plates, and this will just secure the rail in place. I'm just going to go ahead and just screw that right in. And I'll go to all four corners and do the same thing. And once that once that's in and that's in place, it's secure. Okay, now I've stepped into the middle of these captain bed, and I'm just going to lift this TV lift lid open, and you'll find that there's a cord from an ex from a power strip, and I'm just going to go ahead and slip that down into that hole that's at the bottom of this cabinet and I'll, I'll feed that through and then I'm going to pull that out and then I'll plug that into my outlet. Now if your outlet's right here at the head of the bed, this extension will probably work. You may need an, you may need an extension cord to get to a plug that's further away. So now we've got power to the, uh, to the headboard or to the footboard and now we'll continue on. Okay, now we're going to start working on the mechanism. So from that mechanism box, I found the mechanism itself. There's a, there's a control box here. There's a, there's a power box. And then the cord for the, the plugs into this, this, uh, this power box. And then the hardware that I had discussed of, um, earlier in this video was this hardware for attaching some of these parts. And so um, what I'm going to find here is um, eight of these 5 8 inch machine screws that are tapered. And then there is an inch and an eighth wood screw and then a 5 8 inch wood screw. And th that all comes from one bag. Okay, now I've stepped back into the middle of this captain's bed. And right down in here, you'll see there's a panel that's been attached to the end of the the footboard. And with that same four millimeter Allen wrench, I'm just going to release the two small furniture connectors that are going to hold this panel in place. This is what we're going to connect the, the mechanism to. And now I'm just going to go ahead and lift that right out of the footboard. 
Okay, now I've got this mechanism board just laid out here on the floor. You'll notice that the little handles are, are away from me. And you'll see that there's a series of, well, four little holes over here. That, and that, that means that the board is correct. It's up. The other side will be unfinished as well. And there are two different mechanisms that are available on our TV lift beds. One of the mechanisms that we're going to be installing today is the deluxe mechanism, which is the mechanism itself is about 30 inches. So, and then the other mechanism is a standard mechanism, and it's about 24 inches. And I'll explain both. But the, this, this deluxe mechanism, what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to set this down onto this board and line it up with the upper two holes and the lower two holes. There's only one way that this will, that this will sit on it. And then what I'm going to do is take these 5 8 inch um, machine screws, which there will be eight of them. And I'm just going to thread those screws right down into those holes. And there's a nut on the T-nut on the back side. And I'll just go around and put in all eight of these, two down here, or four down here at the bottom, and then four at the top as well. Okay, get the last one in there. Tighten those up. And then we'll move on to putting some of those components on this board. Next, I'm going to attach the, the, um, the power box, which is the short cord coming toward the mechanism. There's this clip that goes over it, and it will line up with those two holes on this board. And then these are the 5 8 inch wood screws, and I'm just going to thread those right down into that, into those holes. And I'll put one on both sides and tighten that up. I'll get this power box position so that the end of it is about at the edge of this board. Okay, now for the control box. The control box has uh, an inlet for this power and that will kind of get us in the right direction. So I'm just going to plug those together. And then there's a couple of holes in this board down here. I'm just going to line the, the, the openings on these holes up with the inch and an eighth screw. And I'll just go ahead and screw those down into those holes. And now from the mechanism, the bottom of the mechanism, I'm going to take this plug and it will plug right into where it says motor how. I'll just plug right in. And you'll notice that I've got this, this clip up. And it'll just plug right in. All right, now with the mechanism attached, I'm just going to, there's, there's one more, there's one more uh, wire component that has to go to this, this control box. And that comes from this rocker switch, which is right here installed on the, the, the footboard. And I'm going to pull that, that wire out. I'm just standing this mechanism up. And I'm just going to slip that down into that last hole. You'll notice here's the clip. The clip is up. And I'll just clip into place. Now with everything connected, and this can be a little heavy, you might need a helper here. I'm just going to slip this down into, there's a couple of brackets right at the bottom of the footboard. I'm going to slip that right into that bracket and that will align it into, into position. Now with the short furniture connectors that I had removed, I'm just going to thread those back into those holes and tighten that down. And now the power source, I'm just going to reach down and plug that into this power strip down in, in this footboard. Okay, now with the mechanism plugged in and all installed, I'm just going to press up on this rocker switch. And it's going to raise this mechanism, and I'm going to take it all the way to its full height to install the TV. Okay, now that mechanism is at, is at full height, and we'll start talking about installing the TV. Okay, now I'm going to start uh, the process of installing the TV. And TVs are all different where the mounting holes are, kind of vary from TV to TV. So I'm going to give you some basic ideas. You may need to adjust this just slightly. I've also found the, the hardware that has the spacers for installing a TV um, that, that came in one bag. And there's also a couple of crossbars, a couple of crossbars that will that will hook to the mechanism 
and then a couple of TV mounts, and, and the TV mounts have a lot of adjustability. But what I want to do is show you right now just kind of a general idea here. Depending on where the holes mount in the back of the TV, or, or where the, the mounting holes are in the back of the TV, is where you will put what will be the top bar that this is going to, uh, that the TV is going to hook onto, or those, those mounts on the back of the TV will hook onto. The 50 inch TV is the largest TV that you can use with one of our um, TV lift beds. And so you're going to be using either hole three, four, or five, so three, four, or five, depending on where the mounts are on the back of the TV. So three, four, or five, and then I'm going to explain those dimensions as, we, as I walk back over to the TV. Okay, as far as the mount that hooks to the back of the TV, a lot of adjustability in here, and here are the mounts. All of the modern TVs from the major manufacturers have a mounting pattern that's the same. These are 200 millimeters apart and 200 millimeters down, so these bars work nicely for them. What I'm going to do is determine how close, uh, how close I can mount this mount to the, to the back of the TV, how close to the top once I find a good mounting situation. As far as mounting these brackets to the back of the TV and, and how they'll interact with those bars on the lift mechanism over there, um, if you can, using the holes that have been provided, mount this bracket between flush with the top of the TV or an inch and a half down would be the maximum. And if that, if, if between flush and inch and a half, give you an ability to attach this um, using any of these holes, then you would use the third hole over on the lift mechanism. Now, if, if like this TV, I can't. I can't get to that bottom hole. So if you can find a good mounting position between one and a half inches now and three and a half inches, so one and a half to three and a half, if I can find a good mounting position, um, then I would use the fourth hole. If I have to go further than that, so if I have to go between three and a half inches from the top down to five and a half inches, which essentially puts it right at the bottom of the TV, five and a, between three and a half and five and a half, you would use the fifth hole over on the mounting mechanism. And this is kind of just a general rule of thumb. You may have to, you might have to work with this a little bit. So on this TV, my first good mounting position where I can get both holes in one of these adjustable slots and holes puts me at five inches, which means I'm going to be using the fifth hole over here, and that is between the three and a half and five and a half. That means that I'll use that fifth, um, that fifth hole. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this. I'm going to mount them the same, and I'm going to mount them at five inches from the top. You'll notice too on these on these mechan on this these mounting bars that mount to the back of the TV. There's kind of a little arm here, and that arm I want to be on the outside. So this one will be over here, and this one will be over here. So now I've got both of those little adjustable arms to the outsides. Okay, so now from the hardware, and the hardware comes with a series of of different. Um, spacers that you may need to use or may not need to use. It also comes with uh, two different size um, diameter size um, machine screws for mounting. So there's a kind of a heavier one and a lighter weight one. And then both of those come in two lengths. So there's, there's two lengths of the heavier one and there's two lengths of the lighter weight one. Um, on this particular TV at five inches, I'm not going to need to put any of the spacers in. And so I'll be able to use the short one. And again, these are just kind of some general, some general um, ideas here. And then I'm going to use the washer. Make sure I'm at that five inches like I determined was, is going to work. Yep. And then I'm just going to put the washer on. Because I don't need any spacers, I can use the shorter one. You'll want to test these to make sure you're not, you're not driving them in too deep. So now I'm just going to thread that down into that hole right there. And again, you'll just want to check the depth of this. Make sure you have good depth. 
in that you don't screw these in too far. They will generally bottom out and not allow you to get too deep. But every one of these TVs are just slightly different. So then I'm going to use this right up here. And you may have to try a couple of different settings to get it to work, but um, those dimensions I told you are kind of a good general guideline. <clears throat> so I'm obviously using the same series of holes on this side as I used over there, so the TV will mount level. Some of the TVs, some of the backs of TVs have kind of a, a, a rounding or a bowing. In those cases, you'll need to use those spacers. Um, so you just kind of have to figure it out based on the TV. Okay, now on, on these bars that will, will go across this mechanism like that, they have some Allen head um, hardware that's been pre-installed. And it's that same four millimeter Allen wrench that you've used on everything else. I'm going to go ahead and take those out. And then, and then like I had determined over there, and I'm going to test it now, I'm going to go to the fifth hole. So, so I'm going to go to the fifth hole on this. <clears throat> and these are short little um, Bolt, so I want to make sure I kind of support it while I get it in there and then I will thread that down and again this is the fifth hole that's the way I determined that over there and I'm now I'm going to test I'm only going to put one of these on for right now <clears throat> set the TV on here <clears throat> And then I'll be able to tell if, if, if it's right. So I'm going to get in And I'll get some help to put this TV on. Okay, so I've got, the, I've got this top. This is actually the top bar now. And it's going to be in the fifth hole because of my dimension at being five inches down from the top as the first mounting hole on the TV. Okay, with my helper now, we're going to go ahead and put this TV on here and again I've only got that top bar in and we'll just latch that down as you can see there's kind of a slot here and that just fits right over this flange on this bar so I'm going to go ahead and just slip that down onto that now this is and this looks really good so so here here the the TV can only protrude beyond the top of this mechanism by a half inch if it goes beyond a half inch above the top of this mechanism the lid won't close so as I've got this mounted it puts it right flush with the top of the TV and so this is exactly where it needs to be now I'm gonna go ahead and take the TV off I'm gonna put on the second bar and then we'll mount the TV so We'll set that TV out of the way, and now I'll mount the second bar. Okay, I'm, I'm in the process of mounting this second bar. So as I mentioned, while we were mounting the brackets to the back of the television, um, they, all the, uh, the modern TVs and, and the major brands, they all use that same um, mounting position where the, where the holes are 200 millimeters apart, which is roughly eight inches, just under eight inches. So now I'm just gonna come in and mount this second bar, which is, in the, which is five holes down, and, and, and that's gonna be kind of, if I put this one on the first, or in the third hole, I will still just mount the second one five holes down. This one we mounted in the fifth hole, so I'm going down here to the very bottom, which is um, where you would mount it on any TV that has the holes low on the back of the TV like that one did. All right, so <clears throat> I've got these two bars now, and, and they're set at five holes apart, so the fifth hole down, and now we'll just go ahead and mount that TV on there. Okay, I've lowered the mechanism just a little bit, just so it's easier to get the TV up and over. 
and then the backs of these these uh, bars that mount to the TV just slide down into that those um, flanges on these bars. And then I'm just going to make sure that that's centered, and then these little levers, I'm just going to push those down, kind of holds it in place, <clears throat> and that TV is mounted. Okay, I'm just running this down now, and there should be good clearance on that TV because I was flush with the top of the mechanism. Perfect. No, no other adjustments needed on this one. So now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it back up. I'm gonna plug the TV into the uh, the power strip that's down in this footboard. Also, if you need to run any other wiring from a, a cable, um, a USB, anything you need to run in this area, you'd want to do that now and into the bottom of the footboard so you can get it to the TV. Okay, this particular bed with the rails takes a traditional frame, and frames can vary. Some of them are just for the mattress, some of them for, for, um, for a box springs and mattress. This is a queen size, so this is a or king size. So this is a king size frame. So now we're just going to get this king size frame carefully set down into the middle here that will hold the, the mattress. This particular frame just holds a mattress. Most frames will hold mattress and box spring. And we'll grab that side and we'll and we'll just set this frame up inside. This leaves the frame and the mattress separate from the rest of the furniture so that there is, so that the, so that the furniture can be solid and what, whatever movement is on the mattress won't affect the TV when the TV's up. Okay, we've completed the setup for this TV lift bed and we've got the mattress in place. The rails are secure and, and uh, we hope this video has helped with the, with the assembly of this TV lift bed. We appreciate your business here at Wildwood TV Lift Furniture.